Kaya FM drama, Unitin K breathes fire as close friend leaks more dirty secrets. Former radio host Unitin K has allegedly instructed her legal team to sue Gauteng-based radio station Kaya FM and prominent radio presenter Sizwi Glomo after she was dismissed from the station a week ago. In a video statement released on her Instagram page on Friday, Kay confirmed that her lawyers were currently dealing with her dismissal from the radio station following a heated verbal altercation with fellow DJ Sizwi Glomo. The publication has also learned that another radio presenter from a different station has been embroiled in the legal tussle for allegedly leaking private conversations between Kay and herself to Glomo. The conversations, which were in the form of screenshots, were allegedly presented to Kaya FM's Human Resources Department and contained details about Glomo being in trouble at the station after K had reported him for unprofessionalism and arriving late for his show. Uniti told the presenter, who's very close to Sizwi, that she'd reported him and he was about to be suspended. Sizwi heard through the said friend that there was a charge against him. He was live on air at the time and you can imagine his shock. The friend then sent him conversations between her and Unity, which were used by Sizwi in his countercharge, as evidence that she was gossiping about him to outsiders about work matters. A source close to the situation said, Those messages were used against Unity and now she's saying that they've compromised her right to privacy, as the messages were private. It is not yet clear whether the radio presenter, who cannot be named for legal reasons, has been served yet. In her statement, Nke confirmed that she had resorted to handling the matter through her lawyers. In her video response to the altercation, Nke alleged that the station had prevented her from sharing her side of the story. I was specifically told that I couldn't use my platform to share my version of events. The only matter I will address, because it's very important to me, is the theme of gender-based violence that keeps coming up. However, in a reply through a statement sent to the publication. Kaya FM spokesperson Ian Bredenkamp denied that the station had gagged the star. Kaya 959 has noted with concern the unfortunate statement made by Unitin K in a video posted on social media on November 26, 2021, where she claims to have been silenced by the station. Kaya 959 recognizes and respects the right to freedom of speech as provided for by the South African Constitution and, for that reason, will not in any way attempt to restrict it for anyone," stated Bredenkamp. The station maintained that Nkei was fully aware of the reasons she had been fired with immediate effect. Ms Nkei is well aware of the contents of the final communication addressed to her by Kaya 959, especially where confidentiality and perpetuating a false narrative are concerned. Ms. Nkei is also well aware of the reasons and circumstances that led to the termination of her contract with Kaya 959, the evidence of which has been shared with her for her records. The station said. In her Instagram video, Nkei denied that she had accused Glomo of gender-based violence, stating that she had not been on good terms with him since he had insulted her live on radio. She said. Gender-based violence had nothing to do with the matter. I never alleged at any time that Sizwi committed any act of gender-based violence against me. Sizwi knows this. Kai knows this. But when Sizwi's comments lead to people thinking that I made false accusations against him regarding gender-based violence and neither he nor Kai 959 do anything to correct the narrative. I'm obviously compelled to speak up, she stated. In retaliation, Glomo shared screenshots that showed the communication leading up to her dismissal. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.